Oh, my aching head. Oh, what did past me do? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I had an island drop to my head. Oh. Well, it sucks that cycle had to end, or else I could have gone down in history as the first Hearthian to ever survive an island dropping on top of them. But it's still disappointing that I couldn't grab my ship and go back to the Bramble to at least make a lot more progress then. Oh well, it's not like I'm running out of cycles anytime soon. Although, I gotta say, waking up at that campfire every cycle is kind of starting to get a little repetitive in my opinion. I guess if anything, at least we now have the coordinates to the eye. We just now need to find a way to get there. To the depths and the coordinates. Unfortunately, I don't have any warp cores in this thing, so I can't really jump to an to the eye itself. Maybe the Nomai designed something that could do it? I don't know. All I do know is the Bramble calls to me once more. As nerve-wracking as it is, I must continue to trudge on. I doubt Feldspar has anything to say to me. I guess I could tell them that I managed to follow in their footsteps and go into the core of Giant's Deep. Eh, maybe. It's all going to depend on how fast I can find that escape pods uh, signal. Speaking of which, Feldspar, hide and seek, there it is. Alright, this place always unnerves me, almost as much as Giant's Deep's core did. I still want to know what all those lights are. I saw that there were those other seeds in here, but Feldspar said that they got attacked by something in here. And that skeleton that he was taking refuge in. Could it be that... No. No, that would just be insane. Alright. Well, the signal's coming up from that light over there. Oh, well, we might as well go. Hmm. The light disappeared. Must be too close that the fog's obscuring it too much. All I do need to remember is that there were giant ice chunks flying around in this seed, so... I need to be extra careful. Ooh, easy. I'm guessing this is why the fog is blue. It's incredibly cold out here. Wouldn't make sense why those ice chunks are surviving for as long as they have. Ugh, speaking of which. Signal's coming. Where's it coming from? I can't pinpoint it. There it is. Ooh. Whoa, easy. I think it's probably safe to just skirt the outskirts of this place. That signal has got to be coming from somewhere. There it is. Yeah, from the looks of it, this thing suffered some severe structural damage. Surprised that the distress beacon for it is still running after so long. Alright. Back into the frigid, foggy cold. Ugh. So unnerving being out here. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but the pod's st supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. 
Seca, is this mission finished? The vessel's beacon has already grown fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. That must have been a terrifying experience Nomai had to go through. At least the others safely landed on uh, plants themselves, but being trapped in here, constantly under tapped by whatever's waiting out in that fog. Escape pod 3 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Alert, multiple collisions have altered the pod's trajectory. Significant damage to the pod detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. This thing was basically on its last legs. There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are extremely identical to each other, perhaps if we had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it'll be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely won't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, then. The decision is made for us. We will leave a trail of lights as we go. There is still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Yeah, a good couple thousand years later. Hmm? What was that? This place wears me out by each and every moment. <sighs> All right, then. Can't see anything with those lights on. They said they followed it, uh, left the trail of beacons or a trail of lights to lead the way. So who knows? Maybe they did find a vessel. Hearing some sounds almost sounds really quantum. Oh my. It's the crew. None of them made it. It was a false signal this whole time.
Well, I might as well try and see if I can discover it. I can barely see anything in front of me. Oh, there are even more lights here. I didn't see anything when I shot my probe in. What? 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 Oh! No! Back up! Back up! Oh! 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 oh. Okay. That... That was horrifying. I need a moment. Ah. 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 Oh. All right. Oh, I know for a fact. Oh, don't, don't you go flying back in there, ship. I am not going back in there anytime soon. So, that's what attacked Feldspar and the Nomai. And three of those things were guarding the location of their vessel. Uh. <laughs> well, do I really need to discover that vessel? I think I could probably live my life in 20 minute increments from now on. Well, I know for one thing, until I can figure out how the hell to get past those things, I am never going back into that bramble anytime soon. Well, I guess with anything... Might as well update the computer logs. I just need a minute. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the grave. Survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed the two vessel beacons to a small dark bramble seed where they continued to go no further. The Nomai could faintly hear the vessel from, beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for a single Nomai to fit through, much less the Escape Pod. The vessel's beacon was dying and would soon be gone completely. The launch of my scout into the seed. I could take photos of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. Too bad three giant monstrosities are guarding the only way to it. What's left to do? What's left to explore? Uh, well, let's let's take a look at the the star map. All right. Well, we've discovered Brittle Hollow. We've done a lot of exploring there. Same with Giant's Deep. And the Bramble is something I'm not going to be returning to anytime soon. Timber Hearth, well, we've already explored that to the best extent. Maybe, maybe we should pay a visit to the Hourglass Twins. I believe Shirt is on there. Maybe they have an insight as to what's going on here. And the other escape pod message, or the signals, come from the Twins themselves. And there's Shirt's drums. Alright, well, I have a heading now. Ugh. Whoa! Ugh. Ow! Ugh. Is my grab crystal broken or something? Ugh. Structural integrity to the ship is still good. But I am flying right into the sun! Oh boy! <laughs> Evasive maneuvers! There's that thing flying past the sun. I've noticed it a couple times during the cycles, but not sure exactly what it is. <sighs> My scout's still inside the twins, just taunting me. Too much force. The trajectory is all off. There's that comet again. Wait a second. Judging my trajectory. Oh, all right. So it's going away. I'm just in a really weird angle to see it flying away from it. 
because from my point of view, it looked like it was making a beeline straight for the sun itself. Alright, shirt. You're somewhere on this planet. And I intend to find you. Aha! There you are. I can see the smoke from his campfire. There they are! I'll just set my ship down over here. Ugh! Ugh! Oh, I don't feel well. I'd like to 
be alone, please. The stars, they're dying. There have been too many supernova for it to be anything else. We're next, you understand? Our son, our heart's name, we're next! Uh, I found something. Why isn't that great? Do you know what? I found a few things myself. Most of them had to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun is about to go supernova, and me, and all my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, you understand? Shark, sure, get a hold of yourself. Oh, the sun is getting pretty red. Judging by the look of things on the star chart. Getting really close to the end of the cycle. I don't think I have time to go out and... Oh, this plate basin really filled up fast. It looks like I don't have enough time to go out and explore much of this planet this cycle. I guess if anything, I might as well spend these last moments comforting shirt. Shirt. They're young. They could really use the company, especially being so close to that thing. So I'm gonna eat this marshmallow. And just spend our last moments together. Why are the stars dying? I don't know. They're old. Oh, we realize that now all of them are dying. What does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. All my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, you understand? Not as dangerous about what's about to happen to our entire solar system. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. I can't believe this. charts. It's all the star charts' faults. I don't know how, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have, and now our son's about to... about to... Ugh, I don't feel so well. Oh, shirt. Sure. I know it's a really scary thought. But at least you won't have to go through it alone. I'll be with you till the very end, buddy. Who knows? Maybe in the next cycle, I'll be able to spend more time with you, and we can share thoughts about stuff, share new discoveries, and who knows, maybe we'll unravel why the stars are dying so fast. Let me get a peace of mind at least. 